There's now two new features with these AI agents in make.com and today I wanna to teach you guys really quick how to use both of them. First is the context feature right here. You can now upload your documents, your notes, your data, all of that stuff with additional context so that your AI agents can reference them. These are the supported file types. So if I want to upload a frequently asked questions document as reference for this AI agent, I can upload my PDF of frequently asked questions and then hit save. Once I give it a description, it automatically generates my description for me. If I like it, I can hit save and we're good to go. Here's a few things to note with this new context feature for your AI agents. These are the supported file types that you see right here. You have a maximum of 20 megabytes per file. You have 50 files maximum per team and 100 files maximum per organization and 20 files maximum per AI agent. So you'll just want to make sure you keep that in mind. If you need this information in the future, you can go to your AI agent configuration window and then click on documentation. On the left-hand side, click manage AI agents and then scroll down a bit till you find the context section. And the second feature that Make rolled out with their AI agents is this new testing and training chat interface. I'm finding a big similarity with this chat interface and the chat trigger used in N8N to interact with your AI agents, the one that you see right here. So I'm assuming that's what make.com is going for. So this AI agent that you see right here is my Slack personal assistant AI agent. It's just a demo where normally I'm in Slack communicating with this AI agent and that's what this whole master scenario is about. I go into Slack, I fire off a message, the AI agent does its thing and then I get a reply in that thread. But with this new chat interface, I can just skip the whole Slack part as I'm testing and modifying the system prompt or the system tools, the context, all of that stuff and fine tuning my AI agent, I can skip the whole Slack part, right? So if I wanna say this, schedule a meeting with Mark for next Tuesday at 11 a.m., 30 minute meeting to review the progress on his current project. I can send that, it'll kick off do its thing with the AI agent. Meanwhile, I'm skipping the whole Slack interface and just testing and fine tuning right here in the chat interface. So this is my reply. The meeting with Mark is scheduled for next Tuesday, June 10th at 11 a.m. for 30 minutes to review the progress on his current project. And I can go to my calendar for next Tuesday, June 10th, and I can see that the meeting with Mark is booked. And it looks like the AI agent even went and found Mark's contact in my contacts list, grabbed his email, and then invited him and added him to this call. Both of these features added to Make's AI agents is actually a huge step in the right direction in my opinion. Thanks for sticking around to watch this quick video, you guys. I'll be sure to keep you updated with any new features with the AI agents in make.com. And if you love AI automation and haven't followed me yet, feel free to do so. Thanks guys.